What's up, Tarnation? It's your boy Albi, and we back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best way to level up. So make sure you watch this video fully and you pay attention to all the details that I'm going to be telling you. Because if you miss out on anything, then you know it's your fault for not watching the whole video and nobody else's for any little details that I put in there. So let's get started. And yes, this code will be um, different. So be a different code by the time by the time this video is out so don't even try joining it don't even try joining it so while, when you spawn in right say you're level one or you spawn in you, you're supposed to spawn in at level seven you spawn in at level seven and automatically you want to put your stats you're gonna put your stats mainly into con and and um i would say dexterity and then form to get a weapon so once you once you're done getting all your strength into dex i said all your stats all your strength all your points into dexterity and con i would say put like you know if you have seven points you put um around five into con and like you know two into dexterity and then you come this way past this you go past this pass up here under this tree and then you want to do this quest right here defeat eight eight fire um fire rages the fire rages just spawn right over here bada be bada boom as you can see and you want to do this quest until like you're like level 20. i mean like i mean like really put your like until you have enough stats and then after that when you get enough stats and you have a friend right Tell you this is this is the best process, bro. Like, literally, and it helps with the um, with leveling up your your magic and and your um stats. So you have a pretty decent stats to start off, and you can actually put damage and have a decent amount of percentage on the boss. You know, because you don't want to go out there to fight with no 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 mastery into your stuff, right? And then you can you can also come farm this guy right here. He drops an item. It's a ring, which I'm, I'm currently wearing. And then after that, when once you hit like level twenty, from over there, you wanna go do the quest, the wolf quest. The wolf quest is in this area right here, so you can move faster. Just so you can just go, just so you can move faster. You get it by the the, the, the Hans Village um, Church right here. This guy right here. And then you go right up there, it's gonna show you something like this, and then you click on it, and it's gonna do this little thing right here. And then after that, what y'all wanna do is, y'all wanna fly this way. Fly all the way here. So now you're like level 20, right? And you got your broom, and you're on your way here. And you wanna farm this with people. And this is this is gonna be like a win-win-win situation, and I'm gonna explain why. So this boss right here, he drops two items. He drops two items. He drops this this the pike and he also drops his bone blade. So you get those two items and while you farming him, you could think about it like alright, cool, I'm farming him to get those items. And over time, bro, by the time you by the time you look down, you're gonna be like level thirty. You feel me? And then once but you but you wanna do this until you hit level forty. With a friend. And if you don't end up getting the bone blade, which is possible, because I I still didn't get it. I think I had like max level and I still didn't have it. I was like level seventy five without it. Just farming him. I literally got to level 75 farming him in like one day. But you don't have to stay here farming him. But if you know, if you want the items, you can. And yes, I did end up getting them. After that, you want to go to the capital, right? So not not at your level 40, you want to go to the capital. This quest, this is the level 40 quest. And honestly, this Halloween event is probably the best time for you to level up. Because they have some repeatable quests that are pretty good in the Halloween event. So you want to go ahead and talk to this guy. And once you finish talking to him, he gives you a quest that gives you like 1100. Yep, there we go. Defeat the hunters. The hunters are over here. Like I said, you can click the top and it will show you the location of where the hunters are. And it will just be your little beacon, your little guide. And when you get there, it will stop. And here you go. And these are the hunters. These are the wolf hunters is what they look like. I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna stay and let him hit me, obviously. And then right after you're done here, and then once you hit like level 60 from doing this quest, 
these guys also drop materials so that's this is a win-win situation they drop these pauldrons that I have on and this little um, band hold on let me get off the broom these pauldrons that I have on my chest on my I mean shoulders then my chest piece right here and they also drop their blade their sword so they do have three drops right there that you can get if you're trying to collect drops if you're being a collector and then right after you hit level 60 you want to go to the Halloween event gate just going on making my way down south going south making it happen and then now you go through the gate you just run in here like all right now this quest this quest is super annoying so i wouldn't even advise you to do it at all this one right here because you can't stun the pumpkins and it gives less um, XP than the other one. It's harder, but it's like less XP. But they do drop an armor, which is this armor, which is really good. So if you do want to stay here and get tortured just to get the armor and the meanwhile while you're leveling up, you can. Because this is the quest that I did use to finish leveling up my character. But a quest that you can go to is further down. Further down. And I would say do this quest until you're like level 75, 75. 75 almost 80 and then I'm gonna tell you what to do right after that Right after that But you got to do this while the events out though. I'm not gonna lie because once this event goes I don't know and I think they're gonna raise raise their um the level cap also For the next update but Yeah, you want to do this quest right here. It gives more your XP Well, at least it should See it gives you 100 more XP it's not that much, but they also decrease the XP requirement, you know. So it should be much easier for people to level up now. Especially with the method that I'm, I just told you. Yeah, it should be way better with that. Way, 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 way better. I have no idea. But yeah, these guys just spawn in. You formed them. And also, this is this this goes into the next step also. So while you're forming them, there's going to be a, a text that appears on top of your screen in red. And that basically indicates that the boss has spawned down there. So you need um, two strength users. You need two healers plus you. And everybody got to do a decent amount of damage. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to do a decent amount of damage. I'm making my way there now. Oh, shoot. I'm making my way there now. Boop. Boop. Bow. And then once once you once you get down here, you form the boss. The boss should be giving you like a lot of XP. I think he gets like around two thousand. And if you want to get a little bit more, you can do his daily quest right here, which gives you a little bit more XP, and it gives you spins also. So that's like a one-win situation. And then once you get the grasp, the grasp from the chest. It's, it's a drop from the boss that appears in the chest. Um, it looks like this. I got two of them. I got, I got two of them. So, yeah. And then once you get the, once you get the hand, just want to make your way up there. Just want to make your way up here. And then you can talk to this guy right here, and then you can hand him, you can hand him the hand. You can hand him the hand, and you get two thousand five hundred. And this is a mission quest, so you know you get a decent amount of exp, and you get a decent amount of money if you get the grasp. And the boss also gives a lot of money and exp, so you can farm him for money, money and exp. And I um and I will have a way to get more money in this game, a video coming out soon, so. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if this video was helpful. I'll catch you on the, in the next one. Um, join the Discord, because we are going to be doing hosting a tournament for this game. Um, and whoever wins, get their own custom role. And you'll basically um, title it yourself with your own custom role sitting above Tarnish. <clears throat> and it'll be your custom role. And if you're interested in that, the Discord link's in the description. Hopefully you win. You know, I'm rooting for you. Peace, catch you in the next one.